everyone. Thanks for being here today. I'm Elisa Bender. I am with the Fiesta in Florissant. I'm here today with Adalia. We are going to give you a preview of the great things that are coming to Florissant June 25th and 26th. Now, Adalia, where should we start? I think we should start with the folkloric dancers because I am dressed as a Panamanian folkloric dancer. You are, and you look beautiful today. Thank you, thank you. I love it. So tell me some of the dances you're going to be doing for us. Okay, we're going to do El Punto, which is a very beautiful dance between a man and a woman, very flirty mm -hmm. dance. And then we're going to do very happy dance. It's called La Gallina y el Gallo. And then to end, we're going to do a salsa and cumbia together. That is going to invite everybody that is around us to dance with us. That sounds like it's going to yes. be a great performance. Yes. So what are some of the other groups that are going to be there? Some other countries that will be represented? I think one of the ones is Bolivia, which yes. maybe you can talk about more. Cause yes, because I will be doing some of the Bolivian dances. I will. Yeah, we'll be doing some traditional dances uh, with traditional costumes from, uh, from Bolivia. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. And I know uh, some Colombian dancers are coming too. Yes, the Colombian dancers. They have ma many beautiful dances, like the cumbia. They do one that is about fishing. Mm -hmm. And many, they have very colorful dresses, and they, they are very entertaining. They are, they are. And of course, one crowd favorite is always the Mexican dancers. Yes, the Mexican dancers, they have the little children, mm -hmm. which are so fantastic. They, they do a wonderful job. And then the adults, you, maybe you can talk a little bit more about that. The adults have very beautiful dresses, colorful uh, costumes of different kinds, so it's going to be amazing. Yeah, it is. And they have yeah a great group of dancers, and they perform at different events as well. And uh, they will be representing, I think, various different states of Mexico. So that'll be that'll be a lot of fun. It's so colorful, too, and I know everyone really enjoys that. Yes. Um, I do know the salsa dancers are coming again this year as well. Wow. And I believe Puerto Rican dancers will be there. So that'll be that'll be a really good time. And sometimes, too, we actually get a Zumba dancer to kind of, and I know you sometimes help us out with that. Yes, I will be very happy to do the Zumba <laughs> like every year. Um, you know, I have a lot of energy. I like to invite the people to dance with me. And be ready, guys, because, you know, I make you dance. You do. Yes. You do have a great time with everybody. Yes. So another great um, thing that will be at the Fiesta in Florissant is the authentic food. I know oh that's a crowd favorite with everyone. So tell me, what are some of the favorite foods that you like that'll be You're there? You're making me hungry. <laughs> Especially, we have tamales. We do. Different kinds. We have red tamales and uh, green. Um, they, have, they are made with pork or with cheese or with uh, beef. And they're so delicious. Mm -hmm. um, very good prices. We also have empanadas, which is my favorite. Uh, we have cookies with different themes and designs. We have conchas and orejas, and the delicious bread, which is called pan in Spanish. Very, very delicious. Um, many foods from Belize, from Colombia, yes. from Argentina. I don't know if the Bolivian. Uh, yes, be. there'll be Bolivian shish kebabs there as well, of course. Yes, the empanadas from Argentina are a most taste. Yes, they very are delicious. very, people come and make looking lines. for them. Yes, yeah. they come to our festival just for uh, the and Tango Argentina. Yes, and, and the bananas. drinks, you know, they are fantastic. They have margaritas. I see everybody with their beautiful containers with their margaritas. Yes, definitely. And different drinks. Also a lot of different foods, hot dogs. It, 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 a little bit for everybody. Exactly, exactly. So uh, we always have those kids or those ones that, you know, they don't really try anything uh -huh. new. That's okay. There's still hot dog and chips and a soda that they can get and enjoy themselves. And, you know, if it's a little warmer that day, we'll have some uh, snow cones and ice cream there. So that'll, Ooh, be, that'll be really good. So. Yes, especially the Mexican food is one of the favorites. With They have different uh, stands. Yes. And they have tacos. They have enchiladas. They have all kinds of delicious foods. They that do. They make me hungry right now. Yeah. Oh, I know, I know. And getting back to this um, pan dulce, the, this came from El Chico Bakery. They have a store on Cherokee Street, and they, they every single day they bake fresh all their food. So it is delicious. They are fantastic. And one of my favorites, the churros. They oh, have different yes. kinds of churros. Churros are very oh good. Oh my gosh, with a condensed milk, with. Uh, chocolate, apple, I think. chocolate, yeah. all the different things inside. Yes. They are one of my favorites, and they're very good price. I love. Yes. I love Chico's. It's delicious. That's yeah. one of the things I love about the festival is 
you don't really need to bring much money because we keep all the costs as low as we can yes. for our vendors so they can then not charge much as well. Exactly. So we really, really like that. So I'm really excited. Um, another thing is uh, we're going to have some bands there Ooh, as well. We're that's still it. firming up exactly who, but uh, we definitely will have some Mexican bands and salsa bands. Uh, Saturday evening will be a salsa band and on Sunday will be Mexican. We're really excited uh, for both bands and really for salsa. We get a lot of people come out, and I'm sure you come out and dance yes, all night I long. Yes, I love the salsa, yeah. and I invite all my friends from Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Colombia, mm -hmm. Venezuela, to come and dance with us because we form a wonderful parties and yes. a little bit of margaritas, and we're ready. <laughs> <laughs> and those, for those that aren't even, yes. um, you know, from a Hispanic country, I mean, they can come out and yes. learn how to salsa and have a great yes. time. Yes, we welcome everybody. We have exactly. salsa lessons. Merengue lessons, yep. if you are inclined to learn a little bit, we are very happy to oblige you and, and help you learn our culture. We are happy to share the culture. Exactly, exactly. Yes. We always have such a good time. Uh, one thing, you know, this is also a very family-oriented event, so we have a children's pavilion, Los Niños Kids Corner, and I'll tell you a little bit about that because I kind of helped put that together. We have, it's all free, it's from 12 to 5, Saturday and Sunday, the 25th and 26th of June. And we, are, we do pinatas for the kids. We do about three pinatas each day. Uh, we do games. We do a bilingual puppet show for the kids as well. Fantastic. We bring in like face painters and balloon artists. Um, what's also great too is we have some inflatable rides for the kids to run around on. And what's great also is we have an exotic petting zoo that comes out, oh, so you yes. can pet all kinds of different great, neat animals. And then you also have uh, pony rides that we do, some pony rides for the kids. So it's, it is a lot of fun. And sometimes Dora and Diego make a special appearance Ooh. for the kids, so they're always excited about you that. Know, one of my favorites for my uh, nephews are the train ride yes. that they can go all around the premises. Yes. And they the kids love it. They want to do three, four rides. And I'm like, no, only one. But exactly. it's, it's so nice that we include the children mm -hmm. and they have so much fun and learn so much in, in that uh, kids' corner area. They do. They learn a lot and uh, they have a great time. And they get to do crafts as well. I know we're collaborating with the Girl Scouts this year, so we'll have some Girl Scouts out doing volu volunteering there, helping with all the kids. And it's great. They're going to do, like I said, a bunch of different crafts, Hispanic crafts and just other crafts. And yeah, it's going to be really nice. We're really excited, and so are the Girl Scouts. So Talking about crafts, <laughs> I see so many beautiful crafts over here. Are uh, they going to be on sale over there? They will. This is just a quick sample of some of the things that we'll have. So, and there'll be crafts from several different countries. There'll be some crafts from Bolivia. There'll be some crafts from Guatemala, some crafts from Ecuador, uh, Mexico. And usually, too, we have uh, people who sell jewelry. So, um, if you see here, some of the sweaters that we have and hats that we have, uh, usually from Ecuador or Bolivia. And we have a cute little dress up here, uh, little Mexican dress. There'll also be, um, blouses and dresses and shirts and sweaters that'll be sold. And all the kids, of course, love all the dolls and the teddy bears and things like that. So and we've are, got... They look like they're made with real uh, yama or llama yes. hair. You know, this one is. Actually, this little bear is from Ecuador. He's really so cute, beautiful. handmade. And uh, some of the dolls here are from Bolivia or Mexico. And my kids love, love these dolls. And some llamas, coasters. I see the Mexican hat over there. Yes, yes. Always, everyone loves a Mexican hat. And some little dolls, maracas, and uh, we have some pillows here also. They're from, <laughs> 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 that are from Dia de los Muertos or Day of the Dead. Um, a lot of people like, like to celebrate that after Halloween. Um, and then we have, yeah, some jewelry up there too that'll be uh, sold as well. I like this, the head, so. The, they call it calaveras the sugar skulls. Yep. The sugar skulls. Yes. And they're fantastic. Yes. And I, I know also they have different things like social that they can help with, um, like booths that can help you maybe for uh, the jobs and things like True, that. True, they do. Um, not only do we have food booths and craft booths, but we also have information booths. Yes. So companies or organizations or businesses who want to get their 
information out there to the public, they come and uh, hand out their information or they recruit for jobs, all kinds of different people. In the yeah, past, we've cool. had uh, State Farm comes out. We've had St. Louis College of uh, Health Careers comes out, Ameren UE, um, and then some local businesses as well in Florissant. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a really great time to come and like in two days, get in front of thousands and thousands of people, you know, your product or your services. So it's a really great way to tap into um, the local community. Yes, yeah, so. so you can have fun, get a job. And, and fix any problem right. you have. So it's exactly. Fantastic. Get a home improvement, new yes. insurance. Yeah, exactly. Get all kinds yes. of great stuff. Yes. So It's, it's going to be a fantastic festival. It will. It will. We're really excited. Um, for this year, too, we just did it last year, but it, bringing it back this year, we're going to do a car show, actually. Oh, nice. So, yeah, second annual car show. And it's actually uh, sponsored with Dedicated Car Club. And they're a local car club, actually, up here in North County. It'll be Saturday, June 25th. It starts at 12. I believe it's 12 to 5. Registration, I believe, starts at 10 in the morning. And they're going to have a first and second place, goodie bags, dash plaques, uh, registration fees $10. And I know one thing to also is they have kids that deck kids who deck out their bikes. So bi oh. they bring the kids' bikes all decked out and everything. So that's kind of neat to that's see. That's fantastic. Yeah, I know I've my kids like that. I've seen it before. It's, it's very colorful and and you learn so much you do especially me that don't know nothing about cars but <laughs> you learn so much and all the different styles it's, it's i know great. and you realize this is like some of their that's like their baby yeah it's like, <laughs> it's like their baby it's like art for them yes they express themselves they with do. the designs and it's 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 something wonderful to see, mm -hmm. and you don't see it often. Right, you don't, you don't. Yeah, it's great. It's rare. Yeah, we, we love it, and they're back again this year. They had a great turnout last year, so they're really looking forward to uh, this year again. So really, really excited for that. So um, another thing they're actually doing this year, too, as we, we did it the last couple of years, is Miss Chiquita Bonita. Oh, I like that. I know, it's really cute. We have little ladies who come out, little young girls, and they come out and they um, model. Yes, they model. They come out with their authentic costumes and they come and do interview questions. We ask them a few questions here and there about things. So they um, they do a little bit of talent. They dance. they can they can do a little wow, bit of talent. We fantastic. like that. We like that a lot. So and the way that they I hate to say win, but it's just crowd who are you know crowd applause, which uh -huh. is kind of fun. So we encourage the girls to bring out you know as many people as they can. Exactly. You know, yes. have a great time, and you know we always give everyone. You know, we say everyone's a winner, but you know we give crowns to everybody, and then. Uh, the, the actual winner gets, I think, fifty dollars. So, Ooh, good. yeah, and flowers. I mean, imagine. oh yes, flowers, banner, yes, and then also an opportunity to be in uh, some future parades as well. So, oh. yeah, they love it. Parents love it. It's a, it's a really nice time. One of my favorite is when we bring all the flags from oh, yes. all the countries and we show it to everybody. We do. We do like a little parade to yes. start the festival, I think. Yeah, so Saturday afternoon, uh, we have a welcoming ceremony, which actually the mayor of Florissant will be there, Ooh, Thomas wonderful. Schneider. So yeah, I'm really excited. He'll be there again with some of the um, area reps as well. And yeah, he will give some opening remarks, you know, talk about Florissant and the festival and the great things he's done for Florissant. And then, uh, introduce a few people and then they will will have a little like you were saying a parade of flags where just like you dressed up in traditional wear and come out with the flags and you know holding the flag you represent so that's really it's a you, really nice that's wonderful because people that don't know there are many many other countries mm -hmm. they learn about the countries they exactly. learn about their uh, authentic uh, clothes that they wear their folkloric yep. um, dresses and things it's I love that part very, very much. Me too, me too. I like that part a lot. I like that part a lot. Because a, a lot of people think when they think Hispanic or Fiesta, uh -huh. they think just Mexico. Mexico yes. Right, right. So when they come out, like, oh my gosh, there are, there you know, other countries. 20 some countries. Yes. So it's great to have everything, you know, everyone sees how different, you know, my family's from Bolivia. So when I, we dress, you know, Bolivians and Mexicans and Pan we're all different. We're yes. all different. Yes, so. we are. I'm from Panama and I, that's why I started doing this because I want to show 
that my country has a different dress right. and all our costumes or our things we do that is is something different to learn yeah. right right that's what yeah. i started doing I guess. oh good glad i'm glad and you keep up with it i love that i love that uh one thing too we're doing um and it'll be awarded during the welcome me ceremony with thomas schneider with the mayor is we are giving a scholarship a college scholarship out this year mm -hmm. we do it every year so we will be actually having the applications out here very shortly and then um to a deserving student, they will win a scholarship. So we're really excited. We try to always give back to the community as well. So, so you will present the winner with uh, their scholarship right there in the festival? Yes. yes. Wow, yeah. they will be so happy to receive that help. Yes, yes, yes. We're always, you know, we want someone who not only does well in school, but is, you know, tries to give back to the community too, yes. does things for the community. So we, we want to help them just, you know, college is expensive nowadays, so help them a little bit you know, for them and to... And that uh, encourage other kids that are go growing up exactly. to apply and to do good in the community so they can yes. uh, maybe apply for the future. Yes, uh, yes. Scholarships, yes. Yes, so that makes it, that's pretty exciting. And, and not only do we give college scholarships, but at the end of the year, we always adopt uh, families and we give them a, um, like a Christmas for them. So we do that as well. So that's pretty exciting. And then, you know, it's, we're always trying to, give back to the community, also teach the community about the Hispanic culture and the traditions. So um, the Fiesta in Florissant, I think, is a great platform yes. for not even the residents of Florissant, but all residents Everybody. around, right, mm -hmm. to come out and enjoy themselves. So, so invite everyone to come out to Fiesta in Florissant, June 25th and 26th at the Knights of Columbus Park and uh, bring your kids, bring the family. For more information, you can go to hispanicfestivalstl.com or you can visit our Facebook at Hispanic Festival Inc. St. Louis, Missouri. Or you can call us if you like at 314-837-6100. We hope to see you at the festival June 25th and 26th, but before we leave today, we have a special treat for you. Hi, my name is Idalia and this is Lourdes. We are going to talk about the Panamanian dress. She's wearing something called pollera and it's the white pollera that are used to get married and for very special occasions. Panama has many different folkloric dresses and this is just one of them. Um, this is for the rich people used to use it in the 1900s. That's why they wore a lot of gold. The more gold they had, the more status they had. In this case, we have the cadena chata, the rosary never, we, we always have the rosary. We also have the beautiful brooch. Everything was made of gold and pearls. Um, as much as she had the best that she looks, she had this beautiful, Necklace all made with gold and pearls. Um, her dress always have to have a matching color that brings uh, the dress up. Like in this, in this case, we have this beautiful color. And also you can wear a matching shawl that will help you show more style in your dress. In the head, we have different things. We have the combs. They're very, they were made with gold, pearls, and different uh, uh, things, or they were made also with um, different things that you could buy. For example, in the back, these were Spanish uh, traditions that were brought to Panama in the 1900s. We had the tembleques. In the past, they were made with uh, fish scales, but now we make it with um, a lot of pearls, and with gold and different crystals. Uh, they represent the flowers of Panama, the birds that we had in our regions, and different animals are represented in them made with pearls. Um, in the front over here, we have one that has diamonds and gold, which is to accentuate the hair. And here in the back is one of the ones that is representing that the lady is single or married. So this is the Panamanian dress, the white pollera. 
She also has this very nice bracelet, like similar to mine. As much as you could wear, you, you will show your status. The more gold you have, the richer you are. So thank you for listening, and this is the Panamanian dress, and now we're going to dance for you. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you.